hello friends welcome to my channel so in this video i will show you that how you can run jquery in your linux operating system so first of all let me just show you that what jquery means well jquery is an open source library which is provided by javascript uh, to run some amazing animation in your website that is you can give some animations to your website using jquery you can use simple javascript but the problem with the simple javascript is that the to give some animations to a website it requires some uh, large amount of code but the certainly the amount of code reduces if you use jquery and you can do more and uh, lines of code will be less so first of all let's start so let me just install jquery i've already installed you but let me just show you how you can install jquery in uh, linux operating system or perhaps in any operating system so let me just open my browser here okay so here simply type jquery uh this is the official website jquery.com and if you want some more information about jquery you can simply go to wikipedia there you will uh, get some uh, more amount of information that what jquery is me means let me just download jquery uh just click on download jquery and here uh, you can choose uh, this both the file the compressed one and uncompressed one so i have chosen uncompressed one and simply right click here and just click on save as so this will be downloaded in your uh, preferable files or folder so i have already downloaded that uh, file in my html folder that i have created and this is the file in which we will perform some animation and this is the image in which we will perform animation so we will be performing some animations to the image so i have given the name of the file as fade.html because i will be fading in and fading out the image so let me just start visual studio code okay so let me just import the basic html code let's give some title here okay so now let's first uh, import the image here you can do that with the help of image tag you have to mention here the source where your file is and here we have to use some id as we uh, we have uh, we want to access this image tag in inside the jquery so that's why we have to give some id or we have to give some class name so in this case i will use id let's give your img1 so this step is compulsory you have to compulsorily give id here and now uh, let's give some button here okay first of all let's check here whether uh, the image is inserted or not in our web page okay there it is as you can see here so let me just import the button so we have to mention here on click let's keep it empty for now okay so here let's give you a fade okay let me just open the browser so let's reduce the size okay so what i will do i will simply fade out this image and fade in on the button click so this is our button and on the button click uh, some animations will happen to our image the image will fade out uh, on the first button click and on the second button click the image will be faded in again so what we have to do we have to create a function here in javascript and we have to call that function inside the on click so uh, our html stuff is over we have to move to javascript let me just use your script tag and here again this is very important step you have to mention here the name of the file that you have downloaded so 
script source is jQuery.js. Okay, so let me just open another script tag here. Set uh, language to JavaScript. Okay, so now we have to mention here the function. See uh, why we require to use functions because uh, your program may have uh, hundreds of lines of code and uh, you cannot just copy and paste that code again and again. You have to uh, use function because uh, you can simply call the function and execute that code whenever you want. So let, the syntax of creating functions in uh, JavaScript is simple function space. You have to mention here the name of the function. Uh, for example, let's give you a fade image as we will be fading the image. Let's call this function here. So now we have do we have uh, not done anything till now. So that's why we will not get an output, but we have to write here code. So now, as I've already mentioned, that we have to access this tag. Now to access this tag, we have to use dollar sign. So this is very compulsory to access uh, jQuery. Uh, you have to use, sorry, to access HTML, you have to use dollar sign in jQuery. So here you have to mention inside the double quotes, the ID that you have given inside the tag. And to make jQuery understand that it is the ID, you have to use here hash symbol. Now, if it's uh, class, then you have to use here dot sign. And in this case, we will use fade toggle method. So fade toggle will simply fade out the image and fade in the image. So let's give you a fade toggle. Here it is. You can also mention the duration, for example, 2000 milliseconds. And our job is done. Uh, so let me just click on the fade. So as you can see, image is fading out. And now let me just click again on fade. So as you can see, image is back again. So uh, in this way, you can run jQuery in your Visual Studio code. And again, this tutorial is not only for the Linux user, but uh, in, in fact, for uh, any operating systems user, whether it is Windows, Mac, Unix, or Linux doesn't really matter because we will be using Visual Studio Code and it is open source. It is available for every operating system. So it is in this way you can use jQuery. So as you can see here, we have only uh, used one line of code here, and we have we have just used function here. So in in just one line of code. Uh, we are able to achieve uh, this kind of output. So that's uh, very amazing about jQuery. So pretty much that's it for this video guys. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you in the next video. So till then, goodbye.